Oliver and the Monsters by Tony Blundell. It was the middle of the night, but Oliver couldn't sleep. Something was bothering him. It wasn't the wind in the curtains or the shadowy shapes on the wall. It was monsters, monsters, monsters. Night after night, it was monsters. Oliver had had enough. Enough is enough, he said. He pulled on his shoes, picked up his flashlight, and crept down the stairs. Across the garden and into the woods. Soon the dark woods became the deep dark forest and in the deepest darkest part of the forest he found the house where the monsters lived. Suddenly Oliver wasn't scared at all. He bounded up the gloomy staircase. All right, you monsters, he said, and burst into the monster's bedroom. It's a ten-ton daddy, cried the monsters, leaping from their beds. A colossal crocodile, they shouted as they tumbled down the stairs. And a rampaging rabbit, they wailed, getting stuck in the downstairs doorway. A dastardly duck, they squealed as they burst into the room. And oh no, a boy, screamed the leading monsters, stop! And the monsters did just that. Oh, you gave us such a fright, cried the monsters as they picked themselves up. Well, now you know what it feels like, said Oliver, and this after this, maybe you won't bother me night after night. Oh, we won't, we won't, agreed the monsters. Never again, they promised. As if we would, they added. Good, said Oliver. Then I won't bother you. And they shook hands, claws, hoofs, and paws on the deal. Oliver suddenly felt very tired. Time for bed, he said. They, we weren't really scared, called out the monsters. Boo, shouted Oliver, and they all disappeared. Soon the deep dark forest turned into the dark woods, and the dark woods turned back into Oliver's bedroom. No more monsters, sighed Oliver, as his eyes began to close. And of course... The monsters didn't keep their promise. Monsters never do.